Did I mention that I'm in for Merrill today? Uh, let's talk about the state of San Diego, though, with John Dady. And uh, we mentioned that Kevin Faulkner is in Washington, D.C., and he is with a whole host of other political people. Hello, John. Are you there? Good morning. Hello. Good I'm morning. There. Sorry. I may not have pushed the button there. <laughs> it's a little early. <laughs> Sir, it's Sunday. Indeed it is. So tell me a little bit about uh, all of these politicos going to Washington today. What are they really hoping to accomplish? Well, it's, it's, uh, first of all, it's part of the annual Chamber of Commerce uh, that does go back there. And they, they set up meetings with uh, you know their board of directors and all the community leaders that are going on different issues. I think Mayor Faulkner is going to be emphasizing water uh, 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 as one of his main uh, t- uh, meetings that he set up. But also, of course, as, uh, as you've already said, he was on uh, national TV uh, speaking about terrorism. So we, you know, we, we forget because we know him and we actually call him Kevin, but he is the mayor of the eighth largest city. So he is now on the national stage and will be so, uh, you know, the entire time when he's in office. Well, I think that there is a considerable amount of concern. And I remember Channel 10 doing a story about how there were terrorists actually training in Mexico. So this is definitely something that we have to be very careful with. Well, and again, as we come up on the anniversary of 9-11, don't forget those terrorists, uh, different parts in time were in San Diego prior to the uh, uh, horrendous attack of 9-11. So, uh, we're, you know, we're on the border, uh, you know, we're, we're on the Pacific Rim. Uh, this this is uh, the big, big time security, but it's also big time politics. I think you're seeing Major, Mayor Faulkner's entree into the national stage, and uh, uh, I think that's all good for San Diego. Now, Susan Golding actually kind of tried to go national and it didn't work out very well. <laughs> well, you know, my, I hate to sound like a pop Sigmund Freud, but my analysis was uh, up until she uh, uh, ran for the U.S. Senate, she had won all of her races. And I think for the first time, she'd been comfortable in the mayor's office and she got the, she didn't have the fire in the belly for the U.S. Senate. And that was the first race that, that she lost uh, when she tried to make that big leap. I don't see that happen with the uh, mayor Faulkner. People are already talking. The, the National Republican Party already has their eye on this guy. And they're already talking about grooming him for something uh, statewide. And, uh, uh, you know, b- basically, I think you are looking at the new type of Republican that I think is going to be play very well across the state and across the nation. John Dadian is with us talking about the state of San Diego. Let's talk a little bit about the petition drive in order to take to the ballot the minimum wage increase that was passed by the San Diego City Council. There have been a lot of accusations, and I think everybody saw this coming, but a lot of accusations that uh, back and forth where you have people who are hassling the petition gatherers and you have petition gatherers who perhaps have not been as honest as they should uh, over what exactly it is that people are signing. Meanwhile, It's written right there, so you should read it before you sign it. But even Todd Glory is coming out and saying, if you feel like you were lied to, we'll tell you how to get your signature off that petition. I mean, it's getting nasty. It is getting nasty. And again, on the uh, side that is uh, issuing the petitions, one thing they're doing that I think is very smart is they're doing two things. They're d- d- getting a lot more signatures than are necessary, but they're also at least trying to do 100% ver- verification. Now, keep in mind, in addition to somebody who, uh, because he doesn't use the brains God gave him, may have signed it to not known it or what he was signing, uh, you know, some people might be, you know, on purpose signed just trying to sabotage it. Sign- Signing right. it when they're not eligible, uh, that type of thing. So th- this is just basically bare knuckle politics on both sides. Well, it's bare knuckle politics, and I think it's going to color the next election as well. I, this this is the sort of thing, just like uh, just like pension reform did, and uh, let's see, before pension reform, what did we have? Oh, we had managed competition. Uh, those things were very very dirty times in politics. And it's hard to believe that San Diego could be as mellow and wonderful as it is, and yet so filthy when it comes to the issues where you have two very different sides and they're ready to duke it out and they will go as dark as they need to in order to get it done. Your comparison to the other campaigns is very accurate. Here's what the big difference is. Those other campaigns, because they were on the regular election cycle, had had a finite battleground. We know we knew when it started. We knew when it was going to end. Right. This one, 
th- this one uh, will be, you and I will be talking, Chris and I will be talking about this every week for the next year and a half. And, and it's going to be dirty for a year and a half. The mud's going to be slinging. The br- uh, brass knuckles are going to be flying for that entire year because it'll probably be on the June of 2016 ballot, which, of course, is also a presidential primary ballot. Right. So I think that it's going to be a very long time in politics, and we can expect a lot of really, really ugly, ugly nastiness here in San Diego over it. John, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Have a happy Monday, Donna. Uh, All right. Thank you. That's the State of San Diego with John Dady and here on News Radio 600 Kogo, iHeartRadio at Kogo.com. It's LaDonna in for Chris.